I am Mordecai the Cross, and in my younger years, I wanted to be a reporter or a journalist for a reputable news organization. In my teen years, I realized news was saturated with lies, thieves, and peddlers of lies and half-truths. Now, in my adult years, I created a series. That series is in depth. Salutations, I'm Mordecai Cross, and this is In Depth, episode two, I believe. <laughs> and what do you think you're doing? Say hi. Hi. Okay. What? Anyways, this video is about Donald Trump and how Donald Trump is the next Hitler. Yes, it is. That is what the video is about. The video is not about you. Anyways, so now we'll go ahead and get st started with the video. All right, on the screen should be uh, this picture of a comparison of Adolf Hitler and Donald Trump. On the Adolf Hitler side of this screen, it says, used racism to rise to power, proposed mass deportations, promised to make Germany great, anti Jew fascist blamed Jews for Germany's problems and thought Jews should wear special IDs. Donald Trump uses racism to rise to power, proposes mass deportation, promises to make America great again. An anti Muslim fascist blames immigrants for America's problems and thinks Muslims should wear special IDs. Now, with this next photo on screen, Donald Trump said on January 23rd, 2016, I could stand in the middle of Fifth Avenue and shoot somebody and I wouldn't lose voters. Now I'm going to show one more picture before I get to the Donald Trump Hitler connection. Even though you're like, wasn't this already the Donald Trump Hitler connection that you had up on the screen, Mordecai? No, there's even much more crazier, deliberate, whatever you'd like to call it. Anyways, here, this with this picture, it's Donald Trump said with the terrorists, you have to take out their families. And then below that says genocide, the deliberate killing of people, which is exactly what he imposes to do when he says with the terrorists you have to take out their families not just them but their families basically genocide the deliberate killing of an entire group of people based off of their religion so yeah Trump proudly described how in 1987 he bought his first casino interest when he purchased 93% of the voting stock in Resorts International Gambling. I'm sorry. What Trump doesn't tell his readers is that the late Andrew St. George reported in the spotlight on October 30th, 1978, and in the previous September 25th, 1978 issue, Resorts International was established and controlled by the front men for the Rockefeller and Rothschild families and their enforcers in the Central Intelligence Agency and its allied intelligence agency, Israel's Mossad. Well, I might be pronouncing that wrong. Now, some of Trump's investors were Mayor, Mayor Lansky, the acknowledged chairman of the board and the chief financier of the underworld gambling syndicate, who maintained his own long-standing ties to not only Israel and the Mossad, but the CIA and the American intelligence community. David Rockefeller was also one of the um, contributors that gave him some of the money is head of the Rockefeller Financial Empire, who provided his family's clout and CIA and global banking connections to assist in the operation. No then investors overseas service, then the world's largest flight capital conglomerate controlling assets worth $2.5 billion. Then there was Tibber Rosenbaum, who was not only the Mossad's Swiss based chief financer behind covert arms deal, but also the head of the Bank de Credit International of Geneva, the Lansky Syndicate's chief European money launderer, and Baron Edmund Rothschild of the European banking family and a personal business partner of Rosenbaum and Rosenbaum's Mossad related ventures ranging far and wide. And lastly, William Mellon Hitchcock, one of the heirs to the Mellon family fortune, one of America's largest private family fortunes, which for many years has also maintained close ties with the CIA. Oh. Donald Trump has close ties with the Clinton family and the Clinton Foundation. Trump donated a quarter of a million dollars to the Clinton Foundation right before he began to run for president. Hillary Clinton is friends with Lawrence Rockefeller. Lawrence Rockefeller was the fourth child of the John D. Rockefeller Jr., 
from the well-known Rockefeller family, American industrialists and political banking kingpins. Why is this important? Well, the Rockefellers funded the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute. The Kaiser Institute was responsible for the eugenics carried out under Hitler's regime. These same people back, hit, back Hitler are backing Donald Trump and have backed Donald Trump in the past. So when I say Donald Trump is the next Hitler, I'm literally meaning he is built up to be the next Hitler because these same people that fund him are the same people that funded the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute, which are the ones behind most of Hitler's eugenic policies and probably will be behind Trump's eugenic policies. If you're like, oh, well, Mordecai, there's no way that Trump is um, friends with the Clinton family. Well, on the screen now is a picture of Donald Trump standing next to Hillary. And next to Hillary is Bill Clinton. So, yeah. Hold on. Here's another picture that I'm about to show. That when this, Within this picture is Hillary with Warren Steve Rockefeller, like I said in the video, in the previously in this video. All right, so that's it of this video. If you're still not convinced that Donald Trump is the next Hitler or the incarnation of Hitler, I don't know what to tell you. And Baby Bat, who just went off screen, doesn't know what to tell you. Commander Cub doesn't know what to tell you. And my wife, Vixen Fireheart, off to the side, doesn't know what to tell you. Anyways, in the description bar below will be a blog of mine that I wrote on my blog page, an interview that I had with... Uh, Socialist Party USA's candidate Mimi. Saltzvik. Salt Salt no, there is no V. Saltzvik. Saltzvik. I don't know. Saltzvik. No, he's not Salt C C sick. <laughs> and he's not German. You made it sound like he was German or something. I have no idea Salt what he is, but, he, but he's not yeah. German. He wouldn't be a socialist if he's German. He'd be a fascist. Oh, that's so wrong. It's okay because I'm German. Anyways, that's so wrong. What I was kidding, hell? people. I was kidding. That was a joke. Yeah, Irish ancestors come and get you drunk and kick your ass. Anyways, in the description bar below will be a link to that. And in the description bar will be a few other links that you probably should click on and check out. Also, I, I don't... know. Mommy, sorry. I didn't mean to say the A word. Um, in the description bar below will also be, I don't know if you know, but me and Vixen have our own band, The Collective Consciousness. And so in the description bar below, if I can, I'll put that. I'll also put it. Exactly a... what it sounds like. Just howling. What? Our band. No, it doesn't. It's actually pretty good. They actually do the theme. It was a joke. It was a joke. They do a theme music for a few YouTube shows on here. On my ch channel and a few other people's channels. Um, also, I can't remember what else I was going to say. So until next time, farewell. Namaste. Namaste and many blessings.